welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, we are going to learn about graph traversal techniques in the subject of design and analysis of algorithms. So, what is a graph? First of all, graph is nothing but it is a non-linear data structure again, which is a combination of nodes and vertices. It has nodes, it has vertices joined together, the graph data structure is formed. I hope you guys already have good knowledge on data structures so i'm not going deep into that because our video is mainly on the traversal techniques of graph so in the previous video in the tree traversal techniques video i told you that not non-linear data structures can be traversed in multiple ways whereas in linear data structures you have only one way that is you start at the starting point and you end at the ending point you don't have any other choice you can't start from middle middle to end and then you come to first and first to middle all that things you can't do start to end that's all very clear but what do you mean by traversal first of all visiting visiting each and every node okay visiting each and every element in that data structure it could be array it could be linked list it could be tree graph whatever it is visiting each and every element is called traversal so in case of non-linear data structure, you have multiple ways to do that because in these data structures, we don't have a fixed start and fixed end point. Okay. So you can do whatever you want here. So for that reason, we have two types in graphs. Okay. So what is that? What are they? The first one is the depth first search, which is implemented by using a stack. And the second one is breadth first search, which is implemented by using a queue. Don't get confused. Uh, by looking at the words or by looking at the terminologies i'll explain you like they are they are pretty simple pretty straightforward i'll explain you how to do that using uh, both bfs and dfs first let's see how we do it using bfs and as i told we implement bfs by using queues so you can start at any point until unless it is specified in the question if if, if in the question it is specified you have to start at zero you start at zero if it is specified start at one start at one otherwise if nothing is specified you can start at any node you start at five you start at one zero your wish okay that is for breadth first breadth first search and uh, as i told you earlier breadth first search is implemented using queues queue is a data structure you already know i guess okay so, and what is the uh, principle that queue follows? First in, first out. Whatever element enters the queue first, that element will come out of the queue first. The very, very, very common example for queue is standing in a queue for movie, th movie tickets. You are the first person in the queue, then you will get the ticket first and you will come out of the queue first. You are the last person in the queue, then you will get the ticket in the last and you will come out of the queue in the last so simple so first in first out you are the first person in the queue you get the first ticket and you come out of the queue first that's it queue okay next so what exactly are we going to do okay so this is the example we are going to consider let me zoom in a little bit yeah yeah now it's better you can see the example right yeah now you let's let's consider zero as our first node okay this is our queue Okay, let's consider zero as my first node. And now, from zero, what all vertices are possible? I have to go to all those vertices and like visit all those vertices. So from zero, what vertices I have? From zero, I have path to one and I have a path to three. So I will visit one and then I will also visit three. Okay, now what is done? zero is done okay so here it is our result so from zero i have visited all the possible vertices so zero is done next what is the next vertex i have okay so zero is done from our queue next one we have so from one what all vertices are possible from one you can go to zero but zero is already covered one you can go to three but three is already in the queue and you can also go to two so write two here and from one you can also go to five okay and from one you can also go to six okay now so you have also you you also got what all 
paths are possible from 1. So you can strike off 1 and add it to your result. Next you have 3. From 3 you can go to 0 but that is already there. 1 already there. 2 already there. 3 to 4 is the new one. So add 4 to here. Okay. So 3 are also visited. Next. 2. From 2 you can go to 5 but 5 is in the queue. 1 is in the queue. 3 is in the queue. 4 is in the queue. So you don't have. You can just simply strike off 2 and write it in your result. From 5. From 5 you can go to 1. You can go to 2. But both are already in the queue. So strike off 5. 6 also same. Already visited. 1, 4. 4. From 4, 3, 2, 6. All are again visited. So 4. So what is your traversal order? From 0 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 5 and 5 to 6 and 6 to 4. So this is your DFS traversal. This could be different. You could get a different order because um, here from 0, I took 1 first and then 3. But you can take 3 first and then 1. Then the order will change. So you can get different BFS traversals for a single graph. That's completely fine. Okay. Now, let's see how you do the traversal using DFS. DFS is implemented by what? Implemented by using a stack. Okay. So let's do DFS depth first search which is implemented using a stack and stack follows the principle of LIFO which is last and first out whatever goes in last it comes out first. Let's say you have a box of chips Pringles chips. So in that whatever chip is in the last of the box that chip comes out first right. So as soon as you open the lid of the box whatever you find whatever chip you get in the first you pick out that one first or let's say uh, we have some polo or whatever it is what is on the top you take it out first and you will eat it first but how did it come on the top while arranging they kept it first that is why it is on the top so after opening it whatever is on the top you take it out first and you eat it right so stack works on the principle of lifo okay so then how do you implement dfs let's see now let's see how dfs works depth first search so in the previous one in the bfs we were using q right we were using q to traverse but now we are going to use stack and you know what is a stack stack was works on the principle of last in first out or first in last out okay whatever you give you throw in first will come out last and the same the vice versa works Okay, and in this case also you can consider any node as a root node until unless uh, it is specified in the question. Suppose in the question they say like start from so and so node, start from so and so, then you can start from there. Otherwise you can consider any node as a root node and you can start the process. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We are going to use the same example that we've used for the BFS. Let's see how we are going to solve this. First, so let's put our result in this okay our final result will be in this and let's <clears throat> have our stack over here okay now first okay let, for now let's start with zero okay so zero and what we have to do is for zero what are the adjacent nodes adjacent vertices okay for zero we have three and one i mean these two are the ones which are attached to zero directly so one comma three okay so in the case of bfs what we do we add all the adjacent vertices into the queue right but in case of dfs what you have to do is you have to add only one you have to pick one among these two and add that to your stack okay first let's add our zero I forgot okay done now one and three among one and three let's pick one okay for now so let's pick one and now let's add our one into the stack and since zero is already traversed let's add it to the uh, list okay i mean our result list next for one what are the adjacent vertices we have for one we have three we have two 
and then we have 6 and then we have 5. So 3, 2, 6, 5. Right? So now um, again among these 4 you have to select 1. Okay? Since you have uh, traversed all the vertices of 1, let us add this 1 to the result. Okay? Now let us take the 3. So now for 3, for 3 what are the adjacent vertices? For 3 you have 0, you have 1, you have 2 and you have 4. 0 is already done, 1 is already done. I mean 0 and 1 are already traversed, right? So what is next? 2. So since you have visited all the vertices related to 3, let us add that to the stack and also to the result. Now for 2 what are the adjacent vertices? So first let us add 2 to the stack and then for 2 what are the adjacent vertices? We have 1. Okay. And then we have 3. And then we have 4. And then we have 5. 1, 3 are already traversed. So let us first add 2 here. Now among 4 and 5 let us pick up 4. Okay. And for 4 what do we have? Again. For 4, we have 3, uh, we have 2, we have 6, right, yeah. So, 3 and 2 are already traversed, right? So, that's why let's go with 6, okay? Now, let's add, hold on, we forgot to add 4, right? I'm sorry, guys. Let's add 4, now, 6. So, let's first add 6 over here. Okay, now for 6, what are the adjacent? For 6, we have 4. And then we also have 1. Okay, but 4 and 1, both are already done, right? So, sorry, I forgot to add 6 over here. So, 4 and 1 are already traversed. So, what can you do? Now, you have to pop the 6, throw the 6 out. Now, 4 is going to be the root node. And for 4, what are the adjacent vertices you have for four what are the attached vertices you have you have three you have again i think two two and you have six so again sorry guys three is done two is done six is done all are done so now throw this four also out pop this also okay now comes two we are left out with two so for two again what are the adjacent vertices for two for two we have mm, mm, 3, 4, 5 and 1 I believe. Yeah, 1. Okay. So, 3 is done. 4 is done. And 5 is not done. So, 5 will be added to the stack. You popped out 6, you popped out 4 and you have added 5 now. Now, what are the adjacent vertices to 5? 1 and 2. So, for 5... You have 1 and 2 again. Same logic 1 and 2 are already traversed. They are already there. Right. So with this looks like you have covered all your vertices which are in the graph. 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Since you have covered all your vertices this is your order. 0 to 1. 1, 2, 3. 3 to 2. 2 to 4. 4 to 6 and 6 to 5. This is your traversal order in case of DFS. And this could be again different for different people. Why? Because here among 1 and 3 in the first iteration I have picked 1. Instead of 1 if you pick 3 it will be different. Right? So depending on what you pick the order might be different. But the concept is same. You use the concept of stack over here for DFS. And for BFS, you use the concept of Q. That is the only difference between these two things. Okay. So, these both are the same traversal techniques for a similar uh, type of data structure. But the only difference is here we use stack and there we use Q. Okay. So, that's all for this video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And if you have any video recommendations for me, if you want me to do any other subject or any other videos in this subject itself, let me know. We can continue with that. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another video.